And the first one off, uh, first one of the rank was was Spork, um, yeah. which uh, how would you describe it? It's, uh, it is, it's quite a nice sort of uh, teen movie, but it, but it's it, yeah, it's, 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 it's super adults as well. I mean, very I, I hate using the word quirky because it's one of those words like zany and wacky, but mm. it is it, it is a kind of quirky coming of age story uh, about a teenage girl slash boy because the girl in question is technically a, a hermaphrodite or intersex mm. as, Hence as spork, the correct spoon, term. Fork, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, and so yeah, it was just a very unusual kind of coming of age story really, uh, set against a backdrop of uh, you know the, the kind of trailer park and the high school. Um, but yeah, it's an absolutely brilliant film. Really, really enjoyable. We knew we knew kind of what we were getting with that because it's already played a couple of festivals. It did really well at Tribeca in New York. Um, mm. And so we, we knew that this was a festival that had a bit of a, uh, a film rather, that had a bit of a reputation before it got to us. Um, Spork is a film that I wrote and directed about a 11 to 12 year old hermaphrodite, uh, professionally known as intersexed. <laughs> and it's about a girl who feels left of center out of place and she decides to find herself by winning this booty dance off contest with the help of her best friend Tootsie Roll, this little ghetto booty popping neighbor of hers. <laughs> um, this little black girl and her other good friend Charlie, who's just like a feminine little queen who's like 10 years old. There's this band of misfits, her overweight friend Chunk, this Asian girl. Uh, at the end of the day, she ends up um, finding that the, you know, the thing she needs the most is actually inside of herself. It's a coming of age story. Absolutely. You know? There's like the bitchy girls in school, Betsy Biatch and the bitches with their 90s bangs and all that stuff. But with a really beautiful new candy colored shell. Yeah, Chris told me I only have four hours per kid per day. We have 18 days to shoot a cast that is around 97 to 98 percent kids. That's a, that's a big deal, dude. The protagonist is a kid, the villain's a kid, the side characters are kids, the B stories with kids. That's a lot of kids, and in short, you know, in a short day on a micro budget. But the good side of that is that their imaginative energy, their their imaginations, their their little brains, they're, they were just so much fun, man. They, all they wanted to do. Just have a good time. If it was hot, there was no ego, there was no my trailer there, there's a, you know, I'm an actor, don't step on my art. I was like, oh my God, queen, just say the line. And it, and it worked. Like, they, all they want to do is have fun. And I love, even the dramatic scenes, even the emotional stuff, it was these kids just having playtime. And as a giant kid, that was invaluable to me. So it was nice. It was a nice film to start off, start off mm. Iris because that was you never quite know what it had. Yeah, it had, yeah. It had a sort of but it's a good fun the film theme, to kick yeah. things off. Yeah. Um, next, uh, well, I don't the the, the, um, the next thing. Obviously, um, Tills. We saw Tills film again, Boys Village. Yeah, um, which, which, which was, was a slight re-edit. I'm not. Uh, yeah. it was, it was rejig, and it was on film this time. I think last time we saw it, it was a digital sure. transfer. Yeah. Uh, seeing it on film made for me anyway all the difference. I'm a bit of a sucker for lovely cinematography, and Tills films always look gorgeous. Mm. Mm. Um, so it was great seeing that again, and great seeing you know he'd made a few little changes here and there but it is a it is a it is a great film Well, Boys Village, it's a, it's a film uh, that takes place in, uh, in the actual Boys Village, St. Athens Boys Village near Abathon, which is a derelict um, former boys summer camp. And it's about a guy who dwells there, a uh, little boy, and uh, who gets involved with uh, teenagers who come there to basically wreak havoc. Um, and I won't tell much more, I think. It's a very atmospheric, very moody piece, maybe a bit eerie as well. Um, yeah, so I want everyone to see it for themselves. Didn't get to see this because I was sort of had filming commitments. Mm. Was August, which uh, is another yeah. film by uh, uh, an Irish winner, Elder Rappaport, who, who filmed his. That's, short that's the really thing, interesting yeah. thing is seeing kind of people come back or seeing films by people who've been here before come back. Mm. Um, so yeah, that was that was really um, no a brilliant film, really good, and it was interesting seeing him take something from because when we had Steam, obviously that's all set in one room. It just uses two actors. So seeing him do something more ambitious on a bigger scale with a bigger cast uh, with kind of multiple plot lines going through it because it's got this kind of central three actors and central mm, three yeah. characters and you do kind of see the story unf unfold from all of their perspectives. 
So it's something a lot more ambitious. Um, certainly one of the most intelligent films I think we've had uh, show at show at mm. Iris to date. Um, just in terms of emotional intelligence, it didn't, never slipped into melodrama. Uh, it was uh, all the performances were beautifully measured, really well observed. August is a, a story about. Uh, I think it's about trying to find yourself. Um, there's this one character which I play in the film, Troy, who uh, years earlier has left the place where he grew up, um, where his family is, to go and find himself. Um, but the story takes place when he has become nostalgic where, where he went to and wants to come home and kind of find himself, basically, because um, he realised it didn't work going away. And one of the main things that he does to try and, you know, find himself is to rekindle a relationship that he left. It was a torrid kind of romance that he had in the summer before he went away to find himself. And uh, he comes back trying to kind of reclaim his life and reclaim that relationship, but uh, it gets complicated. <laughs>